I put pants on today only so I could sit outside while filming because it's really nice out and I had every intention of keeping them clean. Guess who just got dirt all over her pants? That would be me. Just like straight up mud. The birds are getting intense, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, my name is Elise, and the first time I just tried to film this intro, the birds outside just started squawking intensely, like 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 a bad omen kind of vibe going on. But today we are not here to discuss birds. We are here to discuss my most anticipated release of 2021, which is Rise to the Sun. This is a book that I first heard of October of last year. And I really, really was excited when I heard the plot because basically I heard sapphic girls of color at a music festival. And I was like, yeah, give it to me. Absolutely, right now, I wanna read this. And I've patiently waited for many, many months because it's July now and I have a copy in my hands and I'm so excited to read this because I just know I'm going to love it. I've been looking for a plot, well, not a plot, I guess like an idea like this for so long. So I'm really, really excited to read this. You should have seen me like jumping up and down like a child when uh, it came in the mail. My mom was weirded out because I was very, very excited. I've not been this excited for a book in so long so this is gonna be a reading vlog where i'm just gonna scream about this i don't know how much i'll be able to film because i want to finish this today because it doesn't look too long and i just like reading books in one sitting but i'm gonna go to work soon so clearly i'm not gonna film at work but yeah very much looking forward to this i usually don't do spoilers i might do spoilers in this vlog but i will indicate it in the title of the video so you'll know you'll probably already know but yes, looking forward to this book. I will admit I cheated and I already read the first chapter. The reason being because I came out here and I was listening to One Direction and I was like, I don't want to stop this vibe. I want to keep listening to One Direction. So I did, but the first chapter is very good. Also kind of ironic that if you have known me since, actually October is when I uh, discovered One Direction, like discovered as if I didn't know who they were, but my channel name, if you didn't see, is The Petite Punk, and that's because music is something really important to me, but I grew up on like punk music, punk and hardcore, and the music festival I go to every year is a punk and metal and occasionally rap uh, festival, so yeah, it's kind of funny that I'm now just like I only listen to pop music. Just give me Taylor Swift, One Direction, and Olivia Rodrigo. But yeah, that's enough rambling. I just shook my entire camera from <laughs> from the dramatic hand movements. But I'm gonna get started on reading some of this. And for the millionth time, I am very excited. Oh my gosh, I just had a total ah moment because there's a name of a town mentioned in this book and in that exact same paragraph, one of the main characters mentions going off to college, but the name of that town is the same name of the first college I went to, which I only lasted a year in and ended up dropping out of that college and transferring to another one. And actually, I barely even made it a year there because for the second half of the second semester, I was online because of the pandemic, but yeah flashbacks but i think the author is from indiana and that town is in indiana and there's another that's that same name is a town in my state so it's a different town but i just had a oh gosh don't remind me moment <laughs> zoom i'm trying to read and the dog is having major zoomies come here cookie i'm gonna go chase her I can't tell if she wants to go home or play. Okay, so I finished the first two chapters and it's in two point of views. So I basically finished the first chapter of each point of view. Do not ask me why I'm sitting on the floor. Okay, well, I'm about to tell you why I'm sitting on the floor. Oh gosh, the dog has returned. I, oh, she, just, she just knocked my camera over. I will play with you in one second. Let me finish filming this clip. But anyways, don't mind me taking a thumbnail pic on the floor just because there's flowers and I thought that'd be 
aesthetic. Oh my gosh, she just coughed in the background of my clip. Time to <coughs> tend to the dog. Are you okay? Did you swallow? Did you eat something? Dog walking break. Come on. So Loki, I keep falling asleep on the couch and also I have work soon. So I'm just going to go to the bus stop early and get some reading done there. But so far, everything has been wonderful with this book. Up. I thought I was going to be late to work. No, I accidentally took the earlier bus than usual. Now I'm 35 minutes early to work. How sad is that? Hello friends. Life has been hectic as per usual. I wanted to finish all of Rise to the Sun yesterday, like all in one day. And that didn't happen because one, I showed up to work early because I took the wrong bus. And then this family wouldn't leave work because they were just taking their sweet time and I had to stay an hour and a half late for them. And then because they were taking such a long time, I missed my bus. So yesterday was not the day, <laughs> but I am right now on about page 200-ish of Rise to the Sun and it's wonderful. It is really making me miss music festivals. I don't know if anyone has seen me mention this on Twitter, but there's a punk music festival I go to every year and it's just been my thing, like the highlight of my year every year since I was, I think, 15 or 16, I think 15 years old, and I am turning 21 this year, and it's just, yeah, it's just been like a tradition almost to go every year, so this book is really making me miss that, because for the first time ever in many years, I didn't go to that festival uh, last year because of the pandemic. I was also going to see My Chemical Romance at that festival, and then again, the pandemic happened is so really just truly uh rude that that didn't happen but yeah I am gonna try to finish the book right now even though it's like 11 p.m and I have to get up at 5 a.m for work but you know that's just the kind of schedule <laughs> I work on but yeah so far everything is wonderful and yeah time to continue the book oh wait just kidding I have another update you're probably halfway through with this video, maybe even three-fourths the way the video, and clearly I'm going to put it in the title, but I've decided not to do spoilers in this vlog because it's come to my attention that I plan to post this video before the book is released, and maybe y'all don't want spoilers before most people even got the chance to read it. So yeah, if you did not read the title of this video, this will be 100% spoiler-free. You'll just get my vague reactions as per usual. time so I have almost finished the book it's a pretty short book also Kaylee if you're watching I'm using oh, I'm trying to grab it with one hand I can't do it well you get the gist I'm using a bookmark that you gave me so thank you very much but um I had points and now I can't remember oh yes so first of all uh the book just name dropped Fall Out Boy and now I'm sad again that I haven't been at any festivals or concerts in over a year now because I bought Fall Out Boy tickets. It's actually for Hello Megator, if this is relevant to anyone, um, for Fall Out Boy, Weezer, and Green Day. And I bought them in like either 2019 or maybe early 2020, but I feel like it was 2019. And I have not gone yet because of the pandemic and it's literally 2021, so that's nice. But anyways, um, in the book towards like... I want to say like the three quarters of the way through point everything just got super messy with the characters and I love when that happens I just really love messy teen girl characters it's always my favorite it's my favorite kind of character in contemporary fiction and I thought it was ex ex ugh, English it was executed really well and there are some quotes in there that I really enjoyed I was gonna mention them here but then it just occurred to me I didn't bookmark them so that's sad but yeah so far it's really good it's like literally midnight but i want to finish this book and then yeah i actually have the quote here i forgot i marked it on goodreads this isn't a spoiler just for context they're talking about 
getting into relationships that might not be very great. But the quote is, look, you're not a bad person for wanting someone to love you. That's not wrong, okay? Okay, Olivia? They were wrong for treating you poorly. You have to know that. And yeah, just this whole scene I'm really enjoying. I just, again, I just love scenes that depict real people, just their faults and misunderstandings and messiness. It's just always something I really, really appreciate in books. And this book is definitely giving me that. Ignore the wet hair and very tired eyes, but I have officially finished it. I'm gonna regret this in the morning because it's, well, it is the morning, it's 1 a.m. and I have to be up at 5 a.m. And knowing me, I'm going to try editing this vlog tonight after I finish this clip because that's the kind of person I am. But <laughs> anyways, concluding thoughts. I really, really enjoyed this. I loved the whole music atmosphere and I loved the messy but real authentic relationship in here. I loved the theme of friendship. That's always something I really enjoy in young adult books. Everything was just so, so amazing. I'm going to have a full written review sometime in the near future. Hopefully by the time this video is uploaded, it should be in the description. But yeah, I, I just really enjoyed this book as I was expecting to. And thank you so much to the publisher for sending this to me. I had a good time and I hope you all will read it when it comes out. It should be out July 6th. Yeah, July 6th in the US. I'm pretty sure it's already out in the UK if I am correct. But yeah, I had a good time. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog for now because I'm tired. I'd like to go to bed. I think I've said all my thoughts, right? Messy girls, which I like. Music, great. And it was really fast paced and I love books that are fast paced. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in another video. I will have, again, a written review of this, but I also plan to do a booktube review. So that will be up also in the near future. So keep an eye out on that. Goodbye. We're just gonna ignore how awkward that last goodbye was, okay? Thank you. I haven't been in con- <sighs> I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. Why do I always run up the stairs and then try to film right after and and then I can't breathe. <laughs>